Because when I woke up this morning, I was on my cycle, but I was feeling like an extremely sharp pain on my right side. So, <sighs> you find it, baby. It's not in the hallway. He's on the couch. Um, I don't like when my kids see me crying, but. I was experiencing a really sharp pain on my right side, something I've never felt before. So I took ibuprofen, you know, I'm thinking it has something to do with my period. And it could very much so. But I've been in pain since 8 this morning. And it is about to be 4 o'clock. And it just, just does not feel right, y'all. It's getting worse. Not in the hallway. And it's on the couch, babe. I just moved. It's not on the couch? Did you move out of covers off, baby? I just moved. No, you didn't see it. <laughs> um, but, um, My yeah, so I'm in a lot of pain. My like, it's almost like a stabbing, sharp pain. Something I've never felt in my 26 years of living. My Okay, mommy, I'll put something on it, okay? Yeah. But I'm about to go to the hospital, y'all, because I can't take the pain anymore. And <laughs> Noble has been trying to keep her mom in good spirits, right, baby? Mom's <laughs> fine. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the hospital and I'm going to keep you guys updated because mm -hmm. I can't, can't take it no more. <laughs> Um, I came to the hospital yesterday, as I told you guys, around like 5 o'clock because I was having a really sharp pain on my right side. So, it took me about six hours to be seen. And all in all, this visit has led to me having to have an emergency surgery today on my appendix because it is extremely inflamed and I also have kidney stones. So I'm having an emergency surgery today. I can't eat nothing. I'm in a lot of pain. They've been giving me pain medicine, but it is just worn off because I've been asleep. Um, so yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update. I'll probably be here for the next day or two. Lots of nausea, vomiting. I can't eat and drink nothing until after surgery. So I haven't eaten anyway because I wasn't feeling good yesterday. And I was throwing up yesterday too because of the amount of pain that I was in. So that kind of sucks. But I'm glad we figured out the problem. The kids are at home with Quan. They're good. Um, they do miss mommy and I miss them. But yeah, that's, that's the update, y'all. I'm looking raggedy. <laughs> um... But it's a shift change right now, so I'm waiting on them to switch shifts, and then hopefully they can give me some more medicine because it's starting to hurt again. But anyways, take care of y'all selves. I love y'all, and just want to give you guys a very brief update, and I'll keep you guys posted on the process. Day. So I just got my medicine. They had to give me another IV, so I have one right here, as you guys can see. I hate it when they put it in a crease of my arm because when I bend my arm, it kind of messes up the medicine. So they put it in my hand right here. So I got another IV. They're running my medicine through it. They also, ooh, I'm in pain. 
Oh, they also gave me a um, a shot in my leg so that I don't get blood clots because I'm going to be laying and sitting for a while, I guess. I don't know. But the kids are with Quan. They're at the barbershop. He's filming, so I'm going to let you guys hang out with them for a little bit and see what they're getting into in between my updates. Um, but right now, I am just got my medicine, and I'm just kind of trying to relax because I am in pain right now and just wait for my surgery. So that's what I'm doing. I feel like my hand is kind of swelling. I hate that. They also try to um, stick me here and here, but it didn't work. So now I'm just waiting, y'all. I don't know what this is on the TV, but that's the update. All right, welcome back to another vlog. This your boy Quan. Okay, right now I'm at work. We at the barber shop. You know what I'm saying? I got my little barber apron on. We getting it in. We getting it in. Noble at the shop because Derek is at the hospital right now. I'm trying to tell her to record, so if she don't record. I do got this footage. So right now, uh, I, I might I might pop up on her at the ho uh, hospital and record too today. You know what I'm saying? But I brought them to work with me right now. I'm about to cut my man up. You know what I'm saying? It's a little walk through with my little shop. You know what I'm saying? Got the whole team with me. But yeah, so boom. I'm at the shop right now. I probably uh I probably go to the hospital check on Derrica and just record that part two and then I'll let y'all know what we're doing from there. Alright. Alright you guys, so we are at the hospital and we are about to bring Derrica some flowers. Bring wifey some flowers and surprise her, she doesn't know we're here. So we're trying to be quiet, you vlog. We're trying to surprise her and clean it. They brought me some flowers. I'm so happy. Kamari. 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 You miss mom. You been messing with daddy. You been messing with daddy. Oh, get that kissy. Oh, he loves dad. Dad been doing good. <laughs> so, I'm out of surgery, y'all. I have an incision on my stomach, two of them. And now I am on the road to recovery. I had a tube down my throat, so that's why I'm talking like this, but I'm glad my babies came to see me. My mom was here and my cousin was here. Keegan got a haircut, look at him. He looks so cute. <laughs> he can get down. Mm -mm. I'm glad y'all came to see mommy. I'm so glad y'all came to see me. Hey y'all. 
so it is let me see i don't even know what time it is y'all i was like 7 what 52 so i just wanted to give you guys an update i'm actually about to eat um i'm here by myself my mom and my sisters and my cousin came by my cousin braided my hair so i wasn't looking so rough <laughs> it's giving set it off okay um but just want to give you guys an update on everything so i probably told you guys a hundred times i'm gonna eat my soup too because i can finally eat i haven't been able to eat in like 48 hours <laughs> so it started off um yesterday morning i went to the bathroom and my cycle i was on my cycle but after i had used the bathroom i started to have like this sharp pain on my right side so i took ibuprofen thinking it was just like menstrual cramps you know but i knew because it was something something i've never felt at the same time that it wasn't menstrual cramps so well look rough y'all but bear with me um so I kind of stuck it out, took the ibuprofen, but I noticed after a few hours the ibuprofen wasn't working and the pain started to get a little bit more intense. So I um, I tried to lay down, I tried to get comfortable, but it just wasn't working. I couldn't tend to the kids. So I called Quan and I told him like, hey, I'm not doing too good. Like I'm really, I'm in a lot of pain. I was crying, I was upset. It was very, very uncomfortable literally felt like I was being stabbed in my right side um in my pelvis so he had got off work he came home he checked on me and when I got back up after that second nap it was just excruciating so I begged him please take me to the hospital and with all the kids it's not just easy to jump up and go so so thankful for his mom and sister they came by they picked me up and they brought me to the hospital I sat in the ER for six hours y'all the most torturous thing ever i sat in the er for six hours i got here at like five and i didn't get to the back until like 11 something um but during the time that i was sitting in the waiting room they did two ultrasounds i had the vaginal ultrasound and then a regular ultrasound and i also had blood work done everything came back fine with the ultrasound and the uh blood i guess um so when I got back there, I was still in a lot of pain. Like I waited because I was in so much pain, y'all. So and I'm so glad I did wait. Um, but when I got to the back, they did a CT scan almost immediately. And it showed that my appendix was like super inflamed. It's hard for me to talk, y'all, because I had to have surgery and they put a tube down my throat. So it was super inflamed and basically I needed to have emergency surgery. So they scheduled it for this morning. I was supposed to get it done around six this morning, but I don't know, I think they were too full. So I got it done today around noon. Um, the procedure went fine. I do have some incisions. I wanna say two incisions. I feel like a lot of soreness in my like abdomen area. It feels like I did like a ton of sit ups, but my appendix is gone. I will never have to deal with that pain again, which I'm grateful for. Um, and Quan brought the kids up here. I tried my best not to cry in front of them, but it was so sweet of them. They brought me some flowers, as you guys seen. It was just really, really sweet. And just having that village to come up here, just it, it just made me feel so loved. Um, but like I said, everybody's gone now. My sister brought me some Panera bread broccoli cheddar soup because I can't eat too heavy so I wanted to do something nice and warm that'll go down nice and feel good on my stomach so I'm gonna eat this they got me on morphine y'all so I'm like kind of loopy and a little in and out but I feel like it's kind of wearing off a little bit they said around 9 30 I'll get another dose of something else not morphine I think something else but I've been going to the bathroom um I'm just trying to heal. Hopefully, I can go home tomorrow. I'm not supposed to lift anything um, for the next 10 days, but I'm just happy to be feeling better overall. This is definitely something I was not expecting. I'm glad I got it taken care of. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to enjoy this warm soup. 
wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on and yeah y'all I'm in the hospital but I'm fine um <clears throat> and that's the update I'll probably get some more rest after I eat this my cousin said she's gonna come back over here tonight which I'm happy about because for some reason I get sad at night when I'm at hospitals like I don't know the homesick missing my babies my normal routine it makes me a little sad I feel like me watching the sun go down is making me a little sad too but I'm gonna be fine she's gonna come back up here with me and I can call my babies in Quine um I was so grateful that they were able to come up here with all these hospital restrictions that's been going on all these years my mom she bought me a nice little care package um some gowns some new slides we're just just I just felt the love and I'm, I'm just so grateful for my family um so yeah y'all that's the update i love you guys i'm gonna eat my soup like i said a hundred times and i will see you guys soon